Thanks for joining today's snapshot for Thursday, the 25th of June. I reluctantly change service times, and I don't like to cancel services of worship. I think in my 49 years of ministry, I've been part of canceling a service because of snow maybe one time. I figure if I can get there and another person's there, we can have worship. So you can imagine the inner turmoil I had when last night we decided to cancel the indoor services for this weekend at Dr. Martin Luther Church. The news was just too alarming. 35,000 new cases yesterday, the highest since April, the third highest total ever. Dr. Anthony Fauci warned us there could be not just 150,000 deaths from coronavirus, but over 200,000, a number that was inconceivable five months ago. I wondering if I was being too hysterical in canceling the services and having the many conversations and email exchanges late last night with members of our worship team and of our church council. I don't like to go along with the crowds, with fads. I don't like to be excessively worried, nor do I like to be excessively cavalier. I think of uh, fads in our culture that I've been slow to get on the bandwagon with. And I'm wondering, in this case, am I being uh, too nervous? I think of the dance mania that occurred. I knew I could work in a religious theme in here. The dance mania that occurred in 1374, when people left their houses in the town of Aachen, Germany, and danced uncontrollably for weeks at a time, seemingly against their will. It's called St. John's Dance. Why? Because it began on the nativity of St. John the Baptist, yesterday's feast day. And it continued for uh, in, in sporadic ways in the town of Liege in Belgium and up and down the Rhine River over the next couple of centuries. I'm more in favor of the middle way, avoiding a hysterical mania. Uh, there was a case of hysterical mania in Tanzania, back then called Tanganyika, in the early 60s, where about a thousand schoolgirls couldn't stop laughing for weeks and weeks. Well, that, alar that kind of behavior alarms me, where you're just influenced by the crowd. Well, I don't think we're being influenced by the crowd in this situation. I don't think we're being hysterical. I think we have chosen a good middle way. We will have outdoor worship for the next few weeks. I think it makes a lot of sense. We have a great location. The weather is going to be great at least this Sunday. And I think more people are going to be comfortable and we can take advantage of our great preparations for indoor worship in a few weeks, whenever we make that decision. Let's conclude with this wonderful hymn by George Herbert, 17th century priest. And that hymn is rather esoteric, but I think it's applicable to today's situation. Come my way, my truth, my life, such a way as gives us breath, such a truth as ends all strife, such a life as killeth death. God be with you today. I hope we see you on Sunday at 10 outside.